So my name is Matthew Gile, I'm a volunteer ambulance officer based at the Bullsbrook Sub Centre. Um, I've been in St John Ambulance for eight and a half years and through around about eight or nine different sub centres in that time. In 2008 I moved to Manjima. Um, I got into the town, got into a small unit that I rented and went, what, I, what can I get into? This is boring, four walls are no good, what can I get into? So I walked out um, and went around the town and found the SES, which is where my, I met my now best mate Leon Gardner. Yeah, him and I struck off as a, a really good friendship at that point and, and it just sort of uh, grew from there and um, through my involvement with St John I think that helped his involvement and then it's sort of just taken off. So and he was an ambulance officer at the time, so that inspired me to go and look at joining St John Ambulance in Manjima. Now, Matthew came to the depot in 2009, um, fresh from the country. When I moved to Perth, I was ungraded, so I then had to spend, I moved the week before the course started, so I had to go back down for four consecutive weeks to finish my PAC, had a week off, and then went back the following week and did my AAC as it was back then, our gradings, um, and became an officer at that stage, so it was, which was good. So Matthew um, volunteered down here with us um, for a few shifts. Um, he travelled the 250 kilometre round trip from Bullsbrook, um, was very regular with his shifts and he came in at last minute should we need shifts filling through sickness or people having to go to work. Once I left Mandra, I went back down country again to Pemberton. I was still working in Australind at that stage with, I think, Ken Hart. Maddie, as he is, uh, seeks further opportunities within the organisation and saw the, the, the chance to come up from Pemberton where he was at the time as the chair of, of Pemberton Subcentre and uh, bring some of his junior officers with him to run night shifts out of Australia. So that's the first time I met Matty. So whilst I was doing a lot of nights in Pemberton and then I became their chairperson or president, um, I was then able to do days in Manjima um, and help the town um, which had a small volunteer base. He worked really hard to, to push um, the subcentre within the community. Um, to raise the profile and also trying to actually get, I guess, the, the committee members to agree to spending money on training stuff, vehicles, doing the sub-centre up, which has now finally come to fruition. Matthew is, is a young man that's full of drive and ambition to take the St John's volunteer forward. He's great, he's always there, he's always available, he's never far from a phone call or if he's not already at the depot and um, he's been someone who, who I've learned from just so much. We always refer to Matthew as our son from another mother. Matthew's beautiful, everyone, everyone knows that. Um, I say his personality is just great. He's like a dog with a bone. He basically, if, if Matt latches onto something, he won't let go until it's happened. Definitely he's hardworking, he's authentic. Um, he's so genuine in the fact that he would go above and beyond. And Matt's a very, a very caring person, often um, you know, always interested in, in doing the right thing by his team and, and the people he supports, but also the community. Unshakingly positive, that man. I uh, never seen without a grin on his face. He is the life of the party and always very, very positive. He enjoys every aspect of, um, of the ambulance role. Um, he's very, very good with patients, with patients' families. Um, his clinical skills are just excellent. So what I love about being a volunteer is the the community that you see and being able to help, particularly in a small community. So that's something that's been awesome is the fact that I've been in four or five different places I've lived in the last eight years and St John's helped me in every one of those to be able to be part of that community, to meet new people, to integrate into it. That feeling, a sense of contribution and giving back um, at, at you know, what you can, when you can sort of thing is something I think he embodies. When it comes to the service stuff, it's St John's, SES, when he was involved in Scouts 
um, doing his umpiring. It's just a commitment to it. And that, I think that's the thing that makes it makes him so valuable. So the barbecue itself, um, we run on a monthly basis. Um, so we choose a community group every time. We supply all the bits and pieces. We buy all the burgers, the buns, all the stuff for it. Having people like Matt that are involved in the community and, and more so in St John Ambulance, which is a terrific brand, they do exceptional work and you know to be aligned with that is fantastic. My bosses have always been really supportive of it and I'm quite honest and open and say, hey look, if I get a call out, I might be late in the morning. I'll let you know, um, but I might be late and they've gone, yep, no drama's not a problem. Uh, Storage King are extremely proud to have someone like Matthew working as a volunteer for St John Ambulance. He's very community minded. If you take a look at Matt, he's not just involved with St John's as a community, he's coaches, coaches, he's on committees for his kids' sport, he umpires everywhere. I'm very much into sports and very much into community stuff. I'm not the kind of parent who can sit in the sideline and watch. I've got to be there involved in some way, shape or form. He likes to umpire hockey. He likes to spend time with his son and his wife-to-be and their other children. I'm now a family man. Um, as of about five years ago, um, I've now with a partner and three kids. The, the qualities that make Matt a good volunteer and a good contributor to the community of St John, I think help him to be a, a good family man and, and support his family as well. We re recently went through a transition from being a, a managed depot to having our own committee again and um, Matthew was very instrumental in the background of, of trying to make sure that this came to, to fruition for us. So as the chairperson um, I'm responsible for uh, the committee, leading committee of nine um, that we have and we run our entire depot from start to end as a traditional country depot does. He's given the depot a new drive and a new lot of energy. He's brought a lot of a good um, management skills of best practices to do things. Where he goes, he sets up shop as a leader within that group and uh, uses that leadership skills for the betterment of that organisation. We're sort of, you know, standing on our own two feet now and um, Matt's been a big driver behind that. probably use is, is passionate, uh, enthusiastic. I think genuine. Pitbull. <laughs> He'd be a super mentor. That was just shocking. What on earth he was thinking. Honestly, the organisation shouldn't have done that to us. You know, Matt and I probably share a similar physique and there's no way in the world I would have got into that Superman suit. I would look like the purple tally tubby. That was my one and only appearance of Superman, and I don't think it'll happen again. I almost tripped down the stairs of that ambulance that day. <laughs>